from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the... Just about time to rock as Toe gets ready to meet Leather. And we are underway from Kansas City. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. They go play fake. Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. First and 10, here's Pacheco. And he's got it down to the 28. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second and seven. Now Mahomes. They'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. 
On third down, it's Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a 23-yard run. And the Chiefs will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 7-0. the touchdown. Here's Butker on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. So here are the Lions now as they get set for their opening drive. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Now a first down throw, gone. And that's to Amon Rossine Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Off play action. Here's Goff. It's caught inside the 25. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 35 yards the game there. Another first down as well. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Goff now looks to throw. That's to the tight end, the portal. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Sam Laporta, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. 
And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that. And when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Mahomes now on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down the field. Mahomes firing complete, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right? You're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. 46 yards rushing for him now to this point. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down and four. Here's Pacheco once again. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So first and 10 now from the 30. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. Gets around him, and he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the 5. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. He's off to a great start here in this first quarter. It seems like this defense is probably going to have trouble containing him. I would agree with that. I love the observation, and here's the thing. Their game plan coming to fruition. You knew that they came in thinking that they could run it, and now they're proving that they can and doing it in a big way. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. He's already scored once. He definitely had his eyes wide open trying to get in there a second time, but I thought that was a really nice play defensively to deny him. Yeah, it was, as you said, keeping him away from his second first quarter touchdown there. From the two now, second and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he's got it. Touchdown. Chiefs, Kadarius Tony, a two-yard touchdown grab, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself, no reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it's Kadarius Toney who caps things with a touchdown reception.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. On second down, here's Goff. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and 10. Here's Goff. St. Brown, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination, look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 33, here's second and six. Now gone. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gibbs. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. On first down, gone. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Two yards to go, second down. They'll fake the handoff, now go off. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now it's gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it's second down. Now a give running right is Montgomery. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. David Montgomery, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are an extra point away from drawing level.
And just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Kadarius Toney going to elect to bring this one out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Throwing now is Mahomes. Got a man. It's Brown. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Second down and eight. Mahomes going to throw. That'll be caught. It's Tony. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That goes for a gain of 31. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Up the man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. A give right side for Pacheco. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. 
Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Once more, it's Pacheco. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. So here we go on a third and goal. This Lions defense, they haven't broken yet. Pacheco. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Well, he's been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with the touchdown run. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. Here's Gaw. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw, gone. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. They give him five yards there, and it's enough for the first. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. On first and ten, Goff. Throwing middle, and it's complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Goff now to throw. And this is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Goff now looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 38-yard line. Defense was thinking run, and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, 
We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up. Touchdown! Sam Laporta. As the first half is winding down. And the Lions have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've <laughs> seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And he returns this to the 22. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they're going to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Second down and three. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Mahomes now to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. shot before the half for Mahomes. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And right. 
ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Here's Raymond bringing it out. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Oh, short pass here taken in by Laporta. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. St. Brown motioning left. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And how about the quick feet there as he made a man miss on his way to a solid gain of seven. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 43, it's second and three. Off play action. Here's Goff. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 50 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Now a first down throw. Gone. It's Williams on the catch. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Ball on the 27. Here's second and five. Play action. It's gone. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. From the red zone now, gone. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. That was Nick Bolton rushing in and burying him behind the line. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist.
Now then after the sack it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. To throw is gone. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. That was the ninth play of the drive and they pick up nine yards with it. Third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Call. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. Badgley able to punch this one through. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. They don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 23. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. He can't get him down. And he'll be out right at the 35. 116 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. A third quarter action from Kansas City. Second down and 10. Now Mahomes. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. Nice play for Kansas City picking up the first 18 yards that time. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Mahomes now on first down. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. 
Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. Butker's kick here is good, and that will tie us at 24 all. So matching field goals here to begin this third quarter of play, and we are tied again. And this is how it's been all game long, very much like a boxing match. Each team counterpunching each other, neither gaining a clear advantage. separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. And Detroit getting set to go now. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Running left, Montgomery. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 57 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. Now a play fake, and it's golf. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now golf. Complete. Part of the way this offense is marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here comes the Lions punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase 
and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Again, it's Pacheco. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. That stop made by Jack Campbell. So it's a quarter that saw these two teams trade field goals here as we've reached the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second down and seven. They go play fake. Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. To throw, it's Mahomes. Looking for Tony on the out route, and he's got him. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But well, one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now, play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. No hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck fifty now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Second and six. to him just inside the 15 even after that strong run we witnessed. Only a yard there on the keeper and that's going to leave him with a third down. This has been an up and down back and forth type of a game hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails kind of settle things down a little bit. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive but right now they need five yards on this third down try. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Like any team playing, they're looking for touchdowns to try and help their cause. But in this case, he does get them a little closer at least if they think a field goal turns out to be the better call here. Yeah. 
So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. Butker's kick here is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. So here come the Lions now. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. They'll fake the give, now golf. That pass caught, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down right away up near midfield at the 47. A well-executed 22-yard game. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first down, gone. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler, first-round pick back in 2012. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Here's Goff, finding Williams once more, complete. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Goff now looks to throw. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. A well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Goff throwing again. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. A big play there for Detroit. 44 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And this complete to Mitchell. And he'll be out of bounds taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's second and seven. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Now this has definitely been a back and forth affair, and now they have the lead here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and they gave up the field goal on that last drive, as we remember, but it felt like their offense told them, don't worry about it. We've got your backs. We'll come back with a touchdown of our own, and they did. Extra point by Badgley, up and good, and that will make this a four-point game.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat with a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch victory. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's Pacheco headed right. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now a second and six. Here's Mahomes to throw. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 40. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get him to open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. The ball on the 16 for second and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. That one's on the former Patriot, Joe Tooney. Here's second down. Mahomes to throw once more. Going down the middle. It's complete. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going.
Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, yeah, I give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point by Butker is on target. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. So here's Goff and the Lions. Down 34-31. Less than 90 seconds to go. And they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Seven past the 30 to the 32. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big game. Here's second down and three. Now it's gone. Able to complete it to Montgomery. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Goff. To the sideline and incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now golf. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Well, this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. Back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. He's back to throw. Going for the deep ball. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Another try, second and ten now. They'll look to throw. That's complete to the quarter. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 30. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside.
So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds. And now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime because neither one got an advantage today. So four quarters couldn't decide it, and it'll be the Chiefs who get the football first in this overtime session. And this fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting into shorts. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come for it. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Back-to-back -back completions, and that puts them in enemy territory. And we're always looking for that elusive term momentum, aren't we? And I think they're building it with the back-to-back -back completions. Now they feel like they can either take a shot or continue to build it the way that they're doing now. Safe throws, get it to their playmakers, and see what happens. And he's got this down to the 35. Ten more there and another first down. Well, good start for him under center here in overtime. Now three of three. And this is where you have to know who you have playing quarterback. You've got a confident thrower right now, someone who's taking care of the ball but not being timid as well and is moving the team downfield. That opens up your playbook and allows you to dial up some big shots if you want them. And again, it's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Back-to-back -back nice gains, that one for 14 yards and another first. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. What well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. On second down, here's Mahomes. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Hoping to keep this OT drive alive. Now they face a third and two. Now it's Mahomes again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Defensively now, the ultimate challenge. Of course, the ball gets in the end zone. This thing's over. And I remember my coach has always talked about in goal line situations, and now you're in overtime where they have to keep them to three points. Otherwise, this wing is done. Win your individual battle within the framework of the team defense. Beat that guy across from you and make a play. I expect under pressure. Down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. A run by Pacheco on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I don't think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. A very costly sack there on third and goal. Pushes him back big time. And now you figure the field goal team coming on on fourth. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down. He might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. Butker's kick here is good, and they have regained the lead. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT, and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up, because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. So only a field goal on that opening drive of overtime. Will that hold up? We'll find out as the kick's away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, it's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime or obviously, Charles, a touchdown to win it. Yeah, and I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? The overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, you've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back, keep everything in front. Holding offense. And that's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler. Still first down. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. First throw in overtime for Gaughan. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gibbs. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. So a little chunk there on first as they try to chip away down three in overtime. I like your description. Chip away, down three. 
You don't have to get it all in one big play, although obviously that would be nice, but there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it. Run your offense, get first downs, get yourself in position, but you know you're gonna at least get three and keep this game going. You get six, so much the better. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. To throw is gone. And he fires one, but incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in the game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That the definition of a do-or-die play, but they keep this overtime session going with a first down. And that is the play of the game right now. Had to have the conversion to keep this one going at OT, and they got it. They don't get it. As you noted, it's over. Down three, they had to have it. Picked it up. Now they get ready to go again with a new set of downs. Again, golf. And that'll be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Second and ten. Now it's gone. That pass caught, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 31-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. And he is in for the score! Absolute stun silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. A great game, partner. A spectacular finish. They needed at least a field goal to keep the game alive. They do one better. They get it in the end zone and end it. And I don't know about you, but I'm worn out. That type of a game takes it all out of us as well. Not just the guys on the field. What a tremendous finish. And as you noted, were they going to go and try and get three and keep the game going? And that wasn't good enough for them. They got the touchdown, and that's why we're able to say goodbye. Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. In this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.